Hi guys, this is Tal from Anim Toolbox and in this video I want to show you how I fix those legs using different temp controls and link temp chains to connect them together using temp controls as a modular system. The first thing that I do is to create temp IK for both legs. In this case it is possible to create multiple temp IK chains at the same time because the original bones are connected in a separate hierarchy. If each chain was not connected in a hierarchy, I would have to create the chains separately. So I press temp IK controls and I can add a pole target. I scale the shape of the controls and press OK. And now I have the animation baked into the IK controls. and the IK control is moving the leg and also controlling the rotation of the foot. However, it will be difficult to fix the ground contact and adjust it from the ankle pivot, since the legs walk here on their toes. So I want to be able to control the legs from the toes. I select both toes and I add world space controls for them. I get by default a track target controller and this is because the toes are connected bones. They are connected to the foot bones but I will still use copy transforms in this case and I want to make sure that I use world space orientation. The world space controller cannot really move the toes since it's a connected bone. It can only rotate it. However, what I want to do is select the IK controller and then the world space as an active chain. And now I use link temp chains to connect the IK controller to the active chain, the world space. And now, as you can see, I can move the IK chain from the world space controller and I do the same for the other leg. Select the IK controller and then the world space controller and then link temp chain and now again I can move the leg from the world space controller. And now what I can do, because the controller was created in a world space orientation, I can control the ground contact directly from the z-axis. So I can move everything up and on the other leg as well. and then adjust those contacts. I can also remove keyframes to have a more clean contact. This could of course have some extra work on the contact, but I want to go now to the next setup. The next thing that I want to do is adjust the heels since they are always pointing too much upwards. So what I can do is first to bake the current setup. I use all control rigs in the selection filter instead of baking the selected chains. I press bake temp controls. And now I have everything baked back into the original bones. I want to control the legs from the heels. So what I can do is, again, I add a temp IK, however, this time I select only two bones per chain for the temp IK controls. And because I selected only two bones, I got the option to add an extra IK control bone by default. And this adds an extra bone to the tip of the IK chain that will control it. So now this bone will control the IK chain, but it doesn't control the foot rotation. And the same goes for the other leg. And now to control the heels, I will use a reversed FK control. So I select first the toe bone and then the foot bone and I press temp FK controls. And because it is based on selection order and it was reversed, then I get by default flip temp controls. 
and I can also change the shape and the size and press OK. So now the FK is controlling the foot and the IK is controlling the leg. But I want the FK to control the IK. So I select first the IK chain and then the FK as an active chain and it can be any bone from the FK chain. And now I want to link it to the tip of the FK chain. So the last child in the hierarchy. So I need to make sure that I have linked to active tip and not base selected. So I press link temp chains. And now, as you can see, I can control the IK from the reversed FK. And I do the same for the other leg. I select the toe bone and then the foot bone and I press temp FK and then OK. And then again, I select the IK controller and the FK chain and then link to the tip of the FK chain. So now I can control the IK from the tip of the FK chain. If it was connected to the base, it would control the IK only from the toe bone. Now what I can do is select the toe bone, add an animation layer, and adjust the heel rotation. 